Packages group and organize the pieces of the model. They have no semantic meaning other than controlling a visibility. Here's the tool with some packages visible. Notice that packages can be nested inside of other packages. And we have several packages that separate the analysis from the executable modeling. Packages may contain many different types of elements, including subpackages. These features allow you to use packages for storage, access control, configuration management, and constructing libraries of reusable model fragments. Let's discuss some tips and best practices aimed at effectively employing packages. Our first guideline is to document as you go by entering description information about each package you create when you create it. All too often, analysts choose not to perform this step, surmising that they will circle back and add it later. This second pass to write the documentation rarely happens, and it is not surprising. The original ideas become stale or lost. The pressures of the later phases of the project outweigh a documentation pass. The size of the data to document often becomes so large that the task seems insurmountable. Or the original creator of the model elements has moved on to other work. Next, let's discuss package organization. Packages are required in two places, at the top level of a project and inside a component. A package will be the first model element you draw when starting a fresh project. This is because you must have a package to put other model elements in. And just like the project level, packages are required at the component level. You must organize the model elements inside components that is the component internal behavior, into packages. So once you have navigated inside a component, create one or more packages first, then add the component internal model elements to these packages. Aside from these requirements, there are no hard and fast rules about where packages, either for analysis or executable modeling, should go in the hierarchy. We simply recommend that related packages should be grouped following the rules of cohesion. That is, maximize close proximity of related subject matter and minimize package interdependency. The final guideline we'll discuss now is to use separate packages for libraries and system configurations. XTUML Editor allows you to wire together components, but this is strongly discouraged. Stick to creating component libraries using packages and only wiring together component references in separate system configuration packages. By leaving the interfaces disconnected in the library, we are free to create other components and system wirings that connect the component references from the libraries together in different configurations. If you use a model compiler, it will allow you to specify exactly which wired system implementation package you want to translate into target code. Now let's look at an example. Here we have created a package that is a library of components which model hardware functionality. We have another package that is a library of components that serve as the hardware abstraction layer. Another package that is a library of components that serve as a test bench for the components elsewhere in the model. We've also created a package to contain the interfaces that the various components expose. In addition, we have packages for the analysis portions, like the communication diagrams and sequence diagrams. In each of our library packages, the component interfaces are specified, but the interfaces are intentionally left disconnected. In this example, we created packages that define scenarios for how the system is wired together using component references. For example, we have a system package that connects a hardware component to a test driver component. We also have a system implementation package that contains a component reference to the same component. And in this case, it's not connected to a test bench. Using library packages and component references in system configuration packages makes this possible.